Alrighty guys, good morning, or at least good morning for me. I want to talk to you about my Haunt sound setup today. So this is the amplifier that I use. Um, as you'll see, my sound setup's kind of old school, or at least as far as I think. <laughs> uh, and by old school, I just mean it's very simple. So this amplifier I got off of Amazon for around $40. Uh, the reason I got this one specifically is that it can take an SD card. Um, so that way I can just put <clears throat> the sound file straight on the SD card. Plug it straight in there. So my camera decides to focus. So just plug it straight in. Turn it on. And you're good to go. All right, and the reason I bought this specific one is that when the power hits it, meaning that you can have it on a timer, uh, it just automatically starts playing whatever sound file you have on there. Um, now, I would imagine this would play the sound files in order and then be able to repeat them as well if you wanted to have um, multiple repeating tracks, I guess. Uh, now for me, I just have one long one on here, kind of like an ambient track um, that you guys have seen or heard, rather, in my other videos. So yeah, and then you got pretty good controls on here. <clears throat> um, you know, pretty basic stuff what you need. And then on the back, what I was saying about the old school part, is you don't need powered speakers. Cause you just plug in regular old speakers. You know, or obviously, as you can see here, hopefully once this focuses, I don't know why it's being a pain in the butt. Um, you do have other options. Uh, you also have an AC and a DC power option on this. Um, and it does get radio, so that's kind of cool. And it also has Bluetooth capabilities. So now as far as the other inputs, um, starting automatically right away, um, I've noticed it just favors the SD card slot. Or so what it calls the media player. <clears throat> that is basically this control board right here. So that would include the USB. So I guess if you had some sort of interface you could plug that into, or maybe even a computer. Like if you were running a show, I don't know. You more tech guys can figure that out. <laughs> I'm still learning myself, but it's pretty awesome. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys. My neighbors are probably gonna be like, what the heck? But I'll turn it on low. So, that should be good. Let's get the garage door open and go outside. I feel like I'm in the movie The Burbs sometimes. <laughs> you wouldn't want to visit there. Ray, this is Walter. No! So I have a speaker there. Now, there's one. <clears throat> and that's just a temporary home for that right now. Now, I have some hidden in this guy here. <clears throat> as well as in here. Kind of see in there. So yeah, so just plug straight into the back on that guy. <clears throat> and it works pretty good. As far as the sound quality and everything. 
All right, you guys are gonna like this part. <clears throat> so we got this crate off Craigslist for free. Someone got it, you know, obviously something shipped to them. So they're giving it away. So we picked it up. Cause I figured, hey, that's cool. That's pirating. Let's put some stuff in it. So. Look at that. Got my fogger in there, some sound, some lights. Pretty sweet little setup going here. Even built myself a little arm. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty cool little setup, right? And then I just put a buttload of hinges on it that I already had. Uh, and I'm gonna run the other, another speaker in here as well. Uh, now these speakers are ones I got off of eBay and uh, Amazon. Probably the same price on both. Kind of just shop around, but they are uh, rated for outdoors. <clears throat> this one is dual. I think the other one was like Stern or something. I'll put the links in the description below. But they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, I think I got, uh, at one point I think I got two of them for 20 bucks and then I think the most expensive is two for 40. So even two for 40 is not terrible. Or just go to your local thrift store, you know? Especially if you're gonna have them in something like this and then you can waterproof even more around that. Um, now, especially here in the desert, we don't get much uh, rain, so it's not a huge concern of mine, but it's still a concern. But I thought you guys would like the crate set up. Pretty sweet. Just realized my phone was in the way, but that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, so I got my fogger in here. Now I was gonna run the fogger to that tub there, but I ended up not having time, so it's just hooked up to the actual gallon. Uh, that tub is actually like a gallon and a half is the reason I went with that versus the uh, straight gallon container. Uh, and then I put these boards in here because the wind was kind of pushing through here too much and not letting the fog come out as good as I wanted. And it worked pretty good last night even because it was uh, pretty windy last night and uh, it was still coming up. Nice. And it kind of like holds it, lets it bunch up now and then releases it. So, all right guys, so that's my haunt sound tutorial. Um, pretty easy, right? Not too bad. Now the cool thing is you can get multiple of those amplifiers and, you know, really put sounds wherever you want. Like if I wanted, you know, that guy to have some crazy sound and then like the monkey has some monkey sounds or something, I don't know, who knows. <clears throat> you could use the amplifier and if you're smart, um, you can do one soundtrack on the all the way left channel. And you can do one soundtrack on the all the way to the right channel. And that way you can use uh, one amplifier for two sounds, you know, save yourself a little bit of money. It just means your sound won't be in stereo, but that's okay, you know, for most stuff, especially like, uh, like I said, like the sound of the monkey, like that doesn't need to be in stereo. So, you know, do with it what you will. Learn more, do more. Please uh, show us guy what you guys are creating. We'd love to see it. Oh, also, if you guys do come by and see us, we are collecting uh, donations for the Potastic Friends <clears throat> Animal Rescue here in Las Vegas. Uh, we do have a tub, a temporary tub. We're gonna build a nice wood one later. Uh, out in the front for you guys, uh, which would be awesome. But if you can't donate right now, which is okay, because we get it, it's crazy times, uh, 
So come by and see us, obviously. Love to see everybody. Love to see everyone's photos, videos, everything. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, look at the pirate flag. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. See you later. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> Why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? <laughs> Ah, that's a good one. Because they'll just wash up on shore later. <laughs>